Here are five key characteristics every sales manager should have. Hey, Rob Spence here, the Managing Director of Paragon Sales Solutions, and welcome and thank you for joining me on another of our weekly vlogs. Every week, we share with you hints, tips, and advice on everything to do with sales, marketing, and business growth. And in this week, we're gonna be looking at the role of a sales manager. And in more detail, we're gonna be looking at the five characteristics of what will make a great sales manager. So perhaps you're watching this as a sales professional and you're looking to take that step up into sales management. Perhaps you are a sales manager and you just want to understand your role in a bit more depth, or perhaps you are a business owner who is looking to either recruit or promote their first sales manager. I'm gonna share with you my top five characteristics. Now, these are characteristics that I've come to learn and, and develop myself. But secondly, these are the five characteristics I've come to learn are probably most key, they're first-hand knowledge. They're not the be-all and end-all. A lot of these skills and, and um, characteristics can be adapted and are tweakable and it wouldn't potentially fit every business, but these are a great, great start. Before we do go on though, however, please do hit that subscribe button, like the video and send us a comment below. We love to hear your feedback on all of these videos. So without further ado, what is the first characteristic? Well, of course, a great sales manager should be a great leader. They've got to lead from the front. My, There's that old adage, isn't there? There's a massive difference between a manager and a leader. No one really wants a sales manager that just sits in their desk, looks at spreadsheets all day, gets angry when sales targets aren't met, gets really fat and can't make a sale whatsoever. In my opinion, a great sales manager is in fact a great sales leader. They lead from the front, they motivate, they drive. When the going gets tough, they roll up their sleeves, they get back into the trenches and they make some sales themselves. They've got to lead by example. Step number two, they've got to communicate really, really well. Like many great leaders, communication is a key skill and a key trait. If we are communicating well, we can not only communicate to our prospects and our customers, we can communicate to our suppliers, our senior management, and of course our team. A good manager or a good leader will continuously communicate with their team what's working, what's not working, what's going well, and what's not going so well. Of course, there is always that analytical aspect of the manager role. They should have their finger on the pulse when it comes to reports. They should have an understanding of the forecasting. They should understand their territories. They should be able to understand where their next sale is coming from. A good sales manager will be able to understand that analytics, understand those analytics, understand that data, communicate to their team and lead from the front no matter what's going on with those. Of course, you can't have a leader, you can't have a manager without passion. Sales is a is a yo-yo. Sales is a yo-yo. You hear, you heard it here first, folks. Sales is an emotional roller coaster. There's highs, there's lows, and there's everything in between. When things are going really good for the business and operations are overwhelmed because they can't deliver, it's sales' fault. When sales aren't coming through, when they're having to make lays, you know, uh, jobs redundant, it's sales' fault, and it's probably sales that are going to get laid off. It's a very emotive job. And a sales manager must be passionate to drive through all of that no matter what. They've got to take the punches and they've got to drive forward. And I guess that takes me on to my final point. In my opinion, a good sales manager is creative. Sales on the, on the, on the, on the very forefront of definition is problem solving. As salespeople, we are constantly solving problems for our customers. And a good sales manager or a sales leader will consistently look to solve problems within a business. Sales are down, let's get creative. Sales are really high and operations are struggling, let's get creative. Not too sure where our next customer's coming from, let's get creative. A sales manager or sales leader should be creative enough to understand what's, what's working, what's not working. And that creativeness can help bond and unite a whole team. I've done some other videos or produced some other videos on sales teams and, and please do go watch that video because I think it ties in quite nicely to this video. But if a sales manager is passionate, they can lead from the front, they can communicate well, well, which is gonna cohesively join together their team around them. So they're just five characteristics of, of what I would define as a great sales manager. Like I say, those characteristics can be extended out. And if you are looking for help, support, advice with your sales, or if you need help with your sales processes, or perhaps you would like some sales training, send us a message on this platform or head on over to paragonsalesolutions.co.uk. Myself or one of the team will be there to help and support as you need us. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video. 
If there are any of the characteristics that you think I've missed out that are very, very important, drop a comment below, share it with, share it with the group. We'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for your time. Until next week, all the best.